Filmora Pro Video Editor. Advanced editing, effects, and motion graphics made easy. This series of tutorials are going to show you the basics of editing in Filmora Pro from start to finish. Hi everyone, my name is Johnny, and in this tutorial we're going to learn the basics of color correction. We'll learn how to apply effects, auto options, basic tools, and LUTs. In professional video editing, there are two main processes related to color. Color correction is done first to balance the image to look as close as possible to how the human eye sees things. And color grading is a more artistic process to change the aesthetic or mood of the video. On the edit screen, we have the effects panel. This is a library of effects that we can apply to our clips. They're classified into folders for each type of effect. As you can see, there's a folder for color correction and another one for color grading effects. To apply an effect, we can drag and drop it over the clip on the timeline that we want to apply it to. We can apply an effect to multiple clips by selecting those clips and dragging an effect to one of the selected clips. Once an effect is applied to a clip, it can be adjusted or modified on the controls panel. This will affect only one clip at a time. There are three automatic effects for color correction. Auto color, auto contrast, and auto levels. These effects will automatically calculate how much to adjust the clip, so as soon as we apply any of them, the clip will immediately look better. Although, we can still adjust three settings. The threshold below which colors in a video will not be affected by this effect. Blend with original sets how much the color will affect the clip. By default, the automatic effects will calculate how much to adjust every frame in the clip. But if we activate the Select Frame box, we can choose one frame of the clip to calculate the adjustment for the rest of the clip. To deactivate the effect, we can click on the box next to the effect's name. And if we want to eliminate the effect from the clip, we can simply select the effect's name and hit Delete. When we apply some manual color correction effects to our clip, we don't see any difference until we adjust them in the Controls panel. Let's see some of the most basic color correction effects. Brightness and Contrast. Once we apply this effect, we'll see it in the Controls panel. If we click on this small arrow, it will open its options. Here we'll have two sliders that we can move to the left or the right to select how much to affect the clip. If we move the brightness slider to the right, the image will look brighter. And if we move it to the left, it will look darker. On the right of the slider, we have a numeric value of the slider. We can also drag from this number or click and write the precise value we may want to apply. The contrast is the amount of difference between light and dark tones. If we decrease the contrast of the image, it will look flat or dull, while increasing the contrast will make the image look punchy. We can also select a preset on the upper box. This would be a combination of these two values for a faster setup. Let's try another effect. The color temperature is a characteristic of visible light that on our clip will originally depend on the lighting of the actual scene and the settings on the camera. But with this effect, we can tweak it a little bit and correct it. A lower value will make our clip tend towards orange, which will produce a warmer feeling of the image. Conversely, a higher value will give us a bluer tone and a colder feeling. Like most effects, if we tweak them too much, they might end up destroying the quality of the image, so it's always good to do this in moderation. As an example, this image is too warm, so I'll use this effect to neutralize the colors, turning the effect on and off so we can check the difference from before to after. Now let's try an effect for color grading. The LUT effect. A LUT is a presetted combination of effects to give a specific look to the image. Filmora Pro offers some great LUTs that are based on the look of movies and series. Applying these LUTs will instantly give a strong mood to our clip. We can lower the strength with this slider, and we can even download more LUTs from the internet to apply them to our projects. There are many sites that offer paid and free LUTs in different formats. Filmora Pro works with the .cube LUT format, so I'll try one of the packages that are available for free on this site. 
If you want to try it out for yourself, there's a link in the description. Once we've downloaded the file, we can look at the LET effect in the Controls panel and click on the folder icon to locate the file. In this case, this will be the Cube Format folder. As soon as we open it, it will be applied to the clip. So that's an overall look at some color correction tools. To learn more about editing in Filmora Pro, make sure to check out our other tutorials in the series. There's no limit to what you can make.